Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to Watcher of Realms. We're gonna do some summons today. There's the 2x. Um, I think it's just 2x this time around, right? For both divine summonings and normal summons. I don't have a lot. 34 summons and 2,600 gems and then one big summon. Uh, I was hoping to finish my gold dragon pass so I can get some more summons through there, but I just didn't. So everything is going cool in terms of the uh, Lunaria. I actually finished that one today. By doing the hero training just gonna go for the 5,000 points to get this big five star psychic power which is very useful for getting your heroes to six star and then I'm pretty much done I don't really care about getting more fragments on her I don't think you can get two copies even if you finish everything and everything they offer so I'm not gonna try more and, and use up my resources also uh, with hero training guys just to note once chapter 9 comes out the new uh, stage for farming XP is also going to be released so stage 8 so that's going to be even more efficient than this one but of course it will cost more energy um, but I still think the the XP to energy ratio will be better so just have that in mind don't go too crazy about XP training right now just giving it as a warning and uh, yeah let's go and see what the summons will give us I have no real need for anything at the moment I'm working on some stuff but I think it's gear that is keeping me back in terms of my account of course big heroes big lords would be amazing but i'm just saying i don't really need a lot of stuff right now i don't think i can push in the guild boss and do um i barely can do 6500 so with what i have i don't think i can push way higher uh, maybe a salazar i think because of the bleed that does a lot of damage on the guild boss and then maybe some other specific heroes for the guild boss to get my damage higher I think um, I think there was one that I saw somewhere mentioned that she is very good for for damage on guild boss. I think it was it was this one. It was Zilla too. I've read that she does a lot for for the guild boss. Um, not sure why, because I would expect that burning doesn't do all that much damage. I don't think it's the burning damage that does it. I think it's basically everything else. Anyway, let's do the summons and. Hopefully, I'll get like one out of the 34, 50-ish. And then maybe if I get too lucky there. But let's get going. And we'll see. We'll see. I'll sacrifice the rares that I'll get. Maybe we'll get something through that one. Um, what is this? Get an epic. At least. It's a Midan. Wow. It's insane on how many Midans I have on this account. Um, I have her at 5. And I could have had her at 10 or 15 even so far. With the copies of Midan that I got. So that's a uh, hundred of those coins. There it is. Another epic. Okay. Good. Good. More epics, the better AI. I think she's not that great. I don't think she's that great. From what I remember, she's a mage. I have very good mages. She is very, very underwhelming. At least for me, I don't have a use for Esotericist. I don't think. Actually, I might actually level um, Awaken mine up. Just because I think they're going to release that one soon. And just in case, right? Just in case I needed to clear the faction trials. Because I think I'm only down on Infernals. There it is. Another epic. Okay. The epic chances are, are the same, right? So, Midan again. Uh, Jankar. Wow. Triple. Triple epic. That's some good odds, right? Uh, Nazim is a brand new one. Okay. Cool. What does Nazim do? Uh, burst damage and control. No talent, straight up damage. Some um, someone's a magic blade and does a slow. All right, slow and a stun. Okay, upon five stacks. Yeah, that's good for the control. Curse blade is on converts for seventy five percent of every damage dealt into HP and gives it to one friendly units within the lowest HP in range. Oh, so he he um, basically heals. Is it is it healing though? Yeah, his stats overall are not that great, but is it healing though? Yeah, all right. Brand new one. That's cool. Uh, get a few gems there. Where am I at? 1,209. That's not too exciting, is it? Let's do the singles. Do I have any other source of getting summoned? Um, I'll have to check my quests before I go into my gems, but I'll, I'll, I'll do the gems anyway. Let's do some singles. I've been trying to pick up all the summons that I can from the... the the black market and stuff but the game doesn't really give you much 
um, after a point that you finish the campaign. It doesn't give you as much. Okay. It gave you a lot of summons at the start. Doesn't give you as much after you finish the campaign, which is, I guess, which is expected since you, you get all the, the one time rewards. So, okay. I thought I was going to get some summons here. No. Um, there is the summoning event here. I would like to get this dust, the legendary dust. But yeah, this is insane. 7,000 points. I wouldn't need to hit multiple lords with what I have remaining. It's fine. There's no reason to, to worry about that one. I thought they, they changed this one to not reset. No, to reset once you finish everything. Apparently they didn't. Apparently it's in the next patch. Oh yeah, it's in the next patch that is coming. It, it, it hasn't been through. Okay. Um, all right. So let's go do the one summon here and 2,700. I think it's about three, three complete summons that I can do. So let's carry on. I click it. I clicked it. Lag. Lag. All right. Let's see. Oh, epic. Okay. Nice. Um, by the way, guys, I have access now to the test server. So I will be able nice vortex. Novras, that's good one for that specific faction as well. All right. So what I was saying, I have access now to the test server and that will allow me to make some content based on all heroes on the game. So let me know down below on what you want to see um, out of all the heroes available, what kind of teams, setups and so on with any hero in the game. I have all of it. It's just that the gear, I'm slowly leveling it up. They gave us a ton of gear, but it's on level one. Uh, so unleveled basically. So I need to level it up and that takes ages. And now that I mentioned, actually, maybe I should load it up and, and have it on the side, slowly leveling up items uh, so I can slowly work on my heroes. All right. One more epic. We had epics in a row in terms of the 10 pulls here. Demos. All right. Nightmare. Okay. This one is actually pretty strong for the clan boss. Why is he so strong? I think it's he does bleed probably. Let me see. Continues damage. Basic damage deals additional damage equal to 2% of the hero's max HP. Ah, uh, okay. And then increases max HP by 100% and attack and defense by 20%. Each basic attack lands four consecutive strikes. This effect lasts for 20 seconds. This is so cool. This one's so cool, actually. Each consecutive attack against the same target increases damage by 10%. Yeah, so he stacks it up as he goes. Very strong um, fighter for, for the clan boss, for the guild boss, uh, as you call it in this game. So final gems. And oh, oh, no, okay. That was, I was uneventful, but at least I got an epic daemon. All right, an insult. Two, two epics out of this one. Um, I don't think I need to do this guy. 18 cost and 18 revival time. Pretty interesting. Fast revival. Um, I have no, no room for this guy. So many fighters at this point, which I'm okay with, but uh, I think I have a, a lot, a lot of fighters already, which makes me not need to build anymore. Maybe I was building Deimos and I was also build not Deimos. Yeah, I'm going to build Deimos, but I was also building Komodo. I've read that Komodo is pretty good for, for Guild Boss as well. So let me let me know your thoughts on that one and uh, and we'll see. So the reason that Komodo, I was reading that he's so good is because he's got a bleed, right? So he's got a bleed right here, which can do 1% of the target max HP per second and increases their physical damage taken by 10%. So this is pretty cool. Um, although I, the majority of damage that I do is magic. So yeah, have to think about it, but I might be able to slot him in. I'm not sure who will do more damage. This guy or Deimos, Deimos, Deimos. Pretty cool that I have now both of those, but anyway, okay, let's. Let's sacrifice the three stars. How many do I have? Wow, that's a ton. 990 gems. I don't need any of these copies. I don't think so. Yeah, let's dismiss. That's one more 10 pull. That's pretty good. All right, one more 10 pull, guys. Hopefully, this is the one. I'm at 1,246. I don't know the pity, uh, the mercy. If, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And then one divine summoning to close it off with at least a guaranteed epic. And what is this one? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, epic, okay. So, we're at 1,256. I might push a little bit my um, my campaign, try and see if I can finish it, so I can get those extra freebies there. 
But uh, that's it for this summoning video. Final big pool. And come on, shiny. No. An epic. <laughs> I get this dude. Um, Cyclone. I think, I think I'll just awaken this guy. I, I was sacrificing his copies in the past, but I think I'll just awaken him. Just because... Um, might as well start start making these guys more powerful, and who knows in the future might need might need to have the the powerful versions of them. But anyway, guys, this was the video. Thank you all for watching this summons. As I said, I have access to the test server, so let me know if you want to see something very specific and the content you want to see there. Um, I'm slowly leveling up gear, so that will take some time to actually have gear comparable to at least get a few heroes with maximum leveled up gear and some sort of synergy. Uh, but until then, thank you all, and I will see you in the next one. See ya!